All right, yo, what is going on, guys? It's Ant, and welcome back to the channel. So, if you could not already tell from the title of the video today, we're going to be doing a hardcore Nuzlocke on Let's Go Pikachu, where we're not allowed to evolve any of our Pokemon. A quick flash up of the rules are going to appear on your screen right now, so feel free to check those out. And lastly, before we go jump into the video, I just want to say that if you're new here and you find yourself enjoying the content, make sure you smash that big red button because I'd love for you to stick around. And yeah, with all that done, let's go ahead into things. So right now, we're just going to go pick what our character looks like and I'm going to choose this one. We call ourselves Ant and we go get our Pikachu. We've also got our Pokeballs now as well, so I'm going to go get this Oddish. I want to get this immediately as well because it guarantees me entry into Brock's gym. And with this done, we go get into our first rival battle with Trace. Now, this one's a pretty easy one. We're just going to Thundershock spam the whole way through and take down the Eevee. After this, we go get some more encounters. So I start off with getting myself a Pidgey and then I go get myself a Rattata. And then I also go get myself a Nidoran. And with all these Pokemon caught, I'm going to go ahead into the second rival battle of a run against Trace. So in this fight right now, he's going to start off with his Pidgey. And this is a one shot to Thundershock. So we go take that down. Now when the Eevee's out, just like the first battle, we're going to go for a Thundershock spam. And we're going to go take it down and win the battle. From here, not really much happens until we get to Brock. But yeah, we're going to go get straight into this fight. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with Oddish. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off with going for Growths to get my special attack that little bit more higher. We take a Tackle and then on the next turn we go for an Absorb, take all our HP back and we also one shot the Geodude. Onyx now will hit us with a Rock Throw as well which won't do too much. And a plus one Absorb will be enough to also one shot this as well. So with that done, that's Brock defeated. And then we can move on to getting some more catches. On the next route we go catch ourselves a Sand Shroom, Mount moon we get ourselves a geodude and then we go get into our first battle with team rocket as well so for this fight i'm leading oddish and pikachu and we're sort of just ganging up on the coughing now to make this fight a 2v1 and when it is a 2v1 ekans has put us into lower life so we gotta go make this switch with pikachu over into nidoran and now we're just gonna go gang up on the ekans and take this down as well moving us on to our third rival battle of the run against trace so we're gonna start off with using zippy zap to take down the pigeon and after this they've got an oddish which actually resists all my attacks so i'm gonna go make the switch here over into my own pigeon Poison powder is not going to be too helpful for me either. And because of this, we have to go and now make another switch as well. Over into our Nidoran. I believe Trace has used a potion somewhere in between as well. But yeah, so Nidoran goes and gets down into low life. And now we got to go send out our own Oddish as well. This Oddish basically resists my entire team. Luckily though, with our own Oddish, we can go for a few acids as well. And we can take down their Oddish. Now with this done, Trace is now down to his last Pokemon, which is an Eevee, so we make the hard switch over into Pikachu. We take a quick attack, crit. On the next turn, we go for a Zippy Zap, and we one-shot the Eevee and take it down to win the fight. Now from here, we can get some more catches again. We go get ourselves a Venonat. Then we also follow up on this by getting ourselves a Psyduck. We get the SS tickets from Bill to get on the SSN. And then we go get into a fight with Misty. So to start things off in this fight, we're going to go for a Zippy Zap and one shot the Psyduck. Next out comes Starmie. It's going to hit us with a Scold after we Zippy Zap it into one shot. And then we're going to go for a second Zippy Zap on the next turn. And we're going to take down the Starmie and win the fight. With that done, we got our second gym badge and we can move on. So from here, we go capture ourselves a Growlithe. We also get ourselves a Dug Trio. And then we also do our rival fight with Trace. So for Trace here, we're going to go for a Zippy Zap on his Pidgeotto and take it down. And then two Zippy Zaps after on the Eevee will be enough to take this down. And after this, we're going to see Oddish. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get it to use Sleep Powder. So we go for a Zippy Zap, we take an Acid. And then on the next turn, another Zippy Zap. And he finally uses Sleep Powder now. With that done, I can now switch over into my Growlithe without getting Sleep Powdered. Take an Acid. And then I go for a Flamethrower, take down the Oddish. And that's Trace defeated. With Trace defeated... We then go head over into our fight with Lieutenant Surge. So for Lieutenant Surge here, I'm going to start off my Oddish and I'm going to go for a Growth. And then from here, we're also going to go and spam Mega Drains. And this will be enough to take down the Voltorb. And with the Voltorb stalled out, Surge sends out a Magnemite. So we go hard switch over into our Dog Trio. Thunderbolt doesn't affect us because we were ground type. We go for a Dick Double Super Effective and we take down the Magnemite. After this now, we've got Raichu. So... For the use of two digs, it was kind of a risk as well because I was in range to a crit. But, you know, thankfully we take the risk and it pays off. We go for a dig after this and we go hit the Raichu and take it down. With that done, that Surge defeated and again we can move on. 
So from here, we do some more captures. I'll go get myself a Fero. And then I also go get myself a Rhyhorn as well. From here, we then get into our fourth rival battle of a run against Trace. And to start things off, we go for a Zippy Zap on the Pidgeotto and take this down with a one shot. Next up then's Gloom. And we also know Floaty Fall at this point as well, which is nice. But it misses. Of course, it misses. It's me. But after a spam of Floaty Falls, we do manage to get the Gloom onto low life before I'm forced to switch. Now with our Fero, we take the Acid. We're just above midlife, and I realize that my moveset's actually awful. And what Gloom decides he wants to go for here is a Sleep Powder, so great. Puts me to sleep, and I'm forced to switch once again. So now I gotta switch over into my Pidgey. And of course, he uses a Hyper Potion. After a couple spans with some moves on Pidgey, we manage to put the Gloom back into low life, and what it does is it Sleep Powders again. So I've got another Pokemon asleep now, and I have to hard switch back over into Pikachu. So we have to stall out all these turns again until I can finally go for another Floaty Fall and take down the gloom from here jolteon comes out and we can use two digs and that'll be enough to take down the jolteon and win the fight with that fight defeated we're now in celadon versing against jesse and james in the team rocket hideout so what we're gonna do in this fight is i'm gonna dig and i'm gonna dodge a poison jab and also dodge a sludge which is very nice we're gonna go for a draw run as well on the arbok and put him into just under half life and then on the next turn we're gonna finish him off with pikachu as well then from here we've used the draw run on the wheezing we're going to use another one here and we're also going to take down the wheezing as well and with that that'll be enough to beat jesse and james with jesse and james defeated we now got to fight archer as well so this one's fun we start off with our rhyhorn take a dark pulse into low life and we hit with a drill run which will put it into about one third then i'm gonna make the hard switch over into oddish take a dark pulse and i thought i was going to be able to get a turn off as well i completely forgot it had flamethrower it goes and takes down the oddish so that causes us our first death of the run i go for a dig on the wheezing come back up on the next turn and of course it's going to survive with about a quarter of its life left but I'm able to go for another dig now as well and with this we're able to take down the Weezing. Then with the Weezing down we've now got Golba and Golba is one shot to Zippy Zap so we're going to go for this, take it down and that's Archer defeated moving us on into the next fight with Giovanni. So for Giovanni we're going to start off with our Rhyhorn because Persian's moveset is all not very effective against me. And I'm going to be spamming some draw runs to try and take this down as quickly as I can. We take a chance on getting crit. We get put into low life, but we survive. And then Drill Run can take down the Persian. With this now against the Rohorn, I'm going to go make the hard switch over into Fero. Now, Fero, again, its moveset is just terrible. So there's not really much I can do here except for pull off one mirror move that will be able to Drill Run the Rohorn for some super effective damage. But Rock Throw, we're not surviving that. With that done, we lose our Fero, and that's our second death of the run. From here, though, I'll go and make this switch over into my own Doug Trio. Give it a hit with a dig. And then when we come back up, we're also taken down by Rohorn's Drill Run as well. Rohorn's on pretty low life here, though, so I can go for an Air Slash and I can take it down and defeat Jovan. Barney. From here we go back into Pokemon Tower, we capture ourselves at Ghastly, and then we go get into our third fight against Jesse and James, so just like the last fight that we did against them as well, we're going to go with the same tactic, I'm going to go underground on the first turn, but instead we actually double up on Rhyhorn here, and put it onto very low life, which luckily it survives. With this we go for the drill run, put the Arbok into mid life, and on the next turn I'm forced to make a hard switch over into my Nidoran. With this as well we also come up on this turn, so Pikachu uses Dig on the Arbok and takes it down now you just got wheezing left so i go for a dig to try and get myself some super effective damage and for some reason i went for a horn drill as well completely forgetting that i have to be a same or higher level to be able to use that to take it down so we go for that horn drill it doesn't work but continuing on we go for that dig we put the wheezing into just above half life take a dark pulse on our hard switch pidgey before having to hard switch again over into our Sandra. and now we can get off another dig as well and wheezing actually goes for a sludge bomb aiming for pikachu as well so that helps a lot, but then on the next turn, he uses a Dark Pulse, takes down Sand for our third death of the run. But because of its HP, we can now finish it off with a Zippy Zap, and that's Jesse and James defeated. So we go get another capture now, and this is our Snorlax. And with Snorlax captured, we're now going to go get into our fight against Erica. So in this fight, I start off with Nidoran, because I want to get a Toxic down on the Tangler, so we can get a bit more damage off it every turn, kill it a bit quicker. From here, I go make the hard switch over into my Snorlax, because this is a special attacker. We can 
can stall out its attacks pretty well. But then Tangler decides to go use Sleep Powder on us, which makes it a lot harder. But thankfully, Poison will be enough to take down Tangler from here. And with that done, that's one down, two to go. So next up comes Volplume, who puts us on to very low life. We try to see if we can wake up before we put into one shot, but it doesn't work. So now we've got to go make a hard switch. Pidgey here is actually going to take on Moonblast. And we're going to go get another death in this run now. So that's goodbye to Pidgey. But with the life that Volplume is on now, we can go for a floaty fall and put into low life and pray for a flinch, which we managed to get as well. Now from this with the life that it's got, we go for a zippy zapper, could take it down. And now Weeping Bell's left, which is a one shot to floaty fall. So we do that and we defeat Erica. Catch yourself a Rapidash, we catch yourself a Dodrio, and we also catch yourself a Tauros as well. But before we can go get into Koga's gym, I've got to go connect with Pokemon Go to get some Pokemon over because you need 50 Pokemon to enter the gym. We are allowed to break Nuzlocke rules when the game's forcing us to. From here though, we're going to go get into the fight with Gym Leader Koga. So what Weezing likes to do here is Weezing likes to go for a Protect on the first turn. And then when we come up, we do some damage on Weezing, put him into about midlife. He also hits with a Toxic. And then we go underground with once again on the next turn. Now Weezing here on this turn decides he wants to go for an explosion which helps us out massively so I'm very happy about that. It goes for the explosion and takes itself down for us. The next Pokemon that they bring in now is Muk and Muk actually uses Protect on our dig so this doesn't work this turn. But with this done now we're now forced to switch as well. So I go and make the switch here over into my Snorlax and we take a Sludge Bomb. We also go hit the Muk with a Yawn as well. This way we can keep ourselves healthy for more turns when we use Rest. And then when we do wake up we can start trying to spam some Headbutts before we get into very low life again and are forced to use Rest. It's quite a long battle between Snorlax and Muk really. And then when we finally wake up from our Rest we can go for another headbutt and we can take down the muck. Now with Golbat out once again, we're going to go for another rest and put ourselves back to full life. From here, when we wake up again from our rest, we're going to go for a yawn to start off with. Currently, the yawn manages to put the Golbat to sleep and we're still awake during all this so we can just spam headbutts and take it down. And now next sleep, we got Venom off. And Venom off here takes our life down quite a bit and then we go for a rest while we put it to sleep as well so we go for a head but it doesn't take it down to midlife very luckily for the venom off here it actually lowers our special defense now after trying to calculate for a while what's best to do here i believe i survive the next move so i stay in it actually does a bit more damage than i expected but because we stayed in and survived we can go for a head but and we can take down the venom off and defeat koga so from here i now go get into a fight with blue and sylphka Going for a floaty fall on his executor, which gets us our flinch. We then take it down on the next turn with another floaty fall. After this, Charizard comes, so one zippy zap is enough to one shot this and we take it down. Now from here, we have to go get into another fight with Archer. And this one's actually a double battle with some random grunt. So again, I'm going to start off with my Rhyhorn here because what I know they like to do is they like to go for a Protect and a Self-Destruct. So that's why I led with Rhyhorn here because it's not going to do too much damage to him. But with that, Electro goes and takes itself down and we actually take very small damage from it as well. Next up then comes in a Golbat that almost takes down a Cubone before Trace heals it. And then we also go and take down the Muck. From here as well, a drill run's going to put the Raticate down into lower life. And we're going to go for a stomp on it on the next turn and take it down. After this, we go make the hard switch from Rhyhorn over into Pikachu. And we go for a zippy zap and take down the Golbat. Now lastly, we got Weezing. So I'm going to go for a dig. And this Jolteon is going to keep spamming Thunder Shocks before I can hit with a dig and put it into very low life. And then on the next turn, I go finish it off with a zippy zap. And that's this fight defeated. With this fight defeated, it means we got to go get into Jesse and James 4. But just like every time, we're just going to do the same thing. So we're actually going to just double up on on the Pokemons and what we're trying to go for here is we're actually trying to go for Weezing this time because I feel like it's a bigger threat out of the two. Arbok hits us with a glare and Snorlax take a sludge bomb doesn't do too much and we do manage to pull off a headbutt as well. On the next turn then Pikachu comes along puts a Weezing into very low life and I'm forced to make a hard switch over into my Rapidash. Arbok hits us with a poison jab there which keeps us just above half life and Snorlax is paralyzed once again but because Weezing's on low life I can go for a double kick and can take it down and now it's a two versus one fight. Arbok tries to hit us with a glare which will paralyze our Rapidash as well. 
Snorlax finally pulls off a rest to shake off his paralysis. From here I hard switch Rapid Dash and I go send in my Rhyhorn. We take a Rock Slide that doesn't do way too much damage and I go use a Headbutt and take down the Arbok. Meaning we're now into the last fight is Sylphco against Giovanni. So like our last fight as well, we're going to start off here with our Rhyhorn because all the Persian's attacks are not very effective on Rhyhorn. And after spamming Drill Run enough times we take down the Persian and we go make the hard switch after on their Rhyhorn over into our Snorlax. Here now is Snorlax, I'm going to go for a Yawn on the Rhyhorn. And I'm also going to take a Mega Horn here, which doesn't do way too much damage. Now, thankfully, Snorlax is faster than this Rhyhorn, so I'm able to pull off a rest with no trouble at all. Take a drill run, and then Rhyhorn falls asleep. Now, it's not really safe to go make a hard switch over into Pikachu here or no one like that, so I'm not really going to go for it. I'm just going to stall it out like we've done against Koga. I'm going to keep yawning, resting, waking up, chip damage, and I'm just going to keep doing that on repeat until we take it down. And now we're just left up against Nido Queen. So, Nido Queen here. Still can't do too much damage to us. We're going to rest ourselves back up to full life. And we're going to continue to try and store this out. Now with the moves that it's going for here. I decide I am going to go and make this hard switch over into Pikachu. Because Pikachu can take this down now. It goes through a body slam. And it doesn't do way too much damage. Then it also falls asleep as well. And from here. I'm going to go for a splishy splash and take down the Nido Queen. And with that done that's Giovanni defeated. For saving Sylphco we also go get ourselves a Lapras. And now. I want to go get myself a Zapdos as well. And the reason I'm going to get Zapdos is because Sabrina won't let you into her gym if you have a Pokemon under level 45. Now, currently our level cap is level 44. So the only way we was going to go get into Sabrina's gym without over leveling any of our Pokemon was getting Zapdos. After stalling it out for many turns during its toxic, it goes down and we capture it with the Master Ball. And now with this court, we can go ahead into our fight with Sabrina. So I'm going to leave Pikachu here. And she's going to start off with her Mr. Mime. So the good thing about Pikachu is Zippy Zap is always a critical hit. So although we don't actually one shot the Mr. Mime, it sets up a reflect. But because we get a critical hit that bypasses the reflect and we can take it down. Now from here against a slow bro, another two more Zippy Zaps would be enough to take this down. But next up we got Jinx, which is a one shot to Zippy Zap. So we also take that down. And now lastly, we're up against her Alakazam. And Alakazam here is another two shot to Zippy Zap. So we're going to go use that and we're going to go take it down. And that's Sabrina defeated. From here there we make it to Cinnabar Island. We capture ourselves a Magma. We also go capture ourselves a Slowbro as well. And then we go ahead into our fight with Blaine. The seventh gym leader of the run. So for Blaine here I'm going to start off with Pikachu. And we manage to get past the confusion that Magma put on us. And finish it off with two splishy splashes. Next up after this Rapidash comes out it's going for a Flare Blitz so I make the hard switch over into Slowbro and we tank this move pretty nicely. I use it again on the next turn and then we're able to go finish this off with a Surf. So that's two of Blaine's Pokemon down and two more to go. With this now I need to go make the hard switch against Arcanine and I go send in Snorlax. With Snorlax here he does take a lot of damage from the Arcanine. And I also got to give it a yawn as well so we can try and put it to sleep on the next turn. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another hard switch here. I'm going to go send in the Aerodactyl that we managed to get from resurrecting our old Amber. Now from here when the Arcanine falls asleep we go for a Rock Slide and we take it down. Before hard switching against the Ninetales into our own Rapid Dash. So from here we're going to go for a Stomp Spam. It can't really do too much damage to us and we're faster. So with this Stomp Spam we're able to take down the Ninetales and defeat Blaine. Again, not really much happens here until we get back to Viridian. And we get into our last fight with Giovanni, the 8th gym leader of the run. So he's going to start off here with Dugtrio. And I'm going to start off here with my Slowbro. Now Slowbro is going to take an Earthquake, which doesn't do too much damage. Then we're also going to go one-shot this Dugtrio with Surf. With Dugtrio down, he then sends out a Nido King. And I knew I was going to survive the Mega Horn here after doing a bit of a damage calculation in my head. But I also thought Surf was going to one-shot as well, which it doesn't. It almost does but almost isn't enough so now I've got to go make a hard switch with Slowbro over into my Aerodactyl. I take a Mega Horn and then I go finish it off with a Crunch. From here now he sends out a Rhydon and Rhydon's going for a Rock Slide here so I'm going to go make the switch over into Pika who takes a Rock Slide nicely and then because it's double super effective 
I'm also going to go take this down. And now we're down to Giovanni's last Pokemon, a Nidoqueen. So with Nidoqueen here, we make the hard switch once again over into Aerodactyl. We dodge the Earthquake that's incoming. And now I'm going to make another hard switch as well over into my Snorlax. Crunch isn't going to do way too much damage to us. And we're just going to go for what we was doing earlier. We're going to go and try and chip damage it. While also keeping ourselves healthy and also trying to put it to sleep as well. But because it uses that Super Fang there and does so much damage... We do get put into low life before we can even go and try and set up our rest and yawn. So what I'm going to do here now is because I'm in one shot. I'm now going to go make the hard switch over into my Lapras. We take the Earthquake. But from here we go for a Surf on the Nido Queen. Put it into very low life. And then we can go finish it off with an Ice Shard as well on the next turn. And that's Giovanni defeated. Back to where we had our second rival fight of the run. We've got our last rival fight of a run outside the Elite Four here against our rival Trace. So right here I'm going to start off with Pikachu. We're going to go for a Zippy Zap. And this will one shot his Pidgeot. The next Pokemon incoming now is Vileplume. So I'm going to go make a hard switch here over into my Snorlax. Now what I want to do here is I want to put this to sleep. So I'm going to go for a Yawn on it here. And I'm I'm also going to rest as well because Toxic's quite bad and it's put us onto low life. Now from here with Snorlax, I'm not going to wait for it to wake up this time. I'm actually going to go make the hard switch over into Aerodactyl while Volplume's still asleep. Because I know this Pokemon is one shot to fly. Now somehow while we're mid-air he's still able to hit us with Toxic when it wakes up. But it's fine. We hit it with Fly and we take this down. The next Pokemon coming in there is now... Jolteon so I go make the hard switch over into Snorlax who is still asleep at this point as well so we are gonna have to pray that he wakes up soon and that we're not gonna get hit by too many thunders now we do get put into really low life and it was on our last chance as well so we do manage to hit the Jolteon here with a yawn and now I'm forced to hard switch my hard switch here is over into Tauros he does get hit by a thunder as well but because he survives we now go for a fresh on his asleep Jolteon we take that down with a one shot and now we're down to his last Pokemon as well. And his last Pokemon here is a Marowak. We go for another Thrash. I was actually sacking off Tauros here. But Marowak decides to go for a Sword Dance. And because I got confused this turn, I've decided I was going to switch out now. And what I do is I go over into Slowbro. We get hit by a Thrash of its own. But because of how much damage it does, we're in a place where we can survive a two shot. And then we can go finish it off with a Surf. And with that done, that's our last rival fight of a run before the Elite Four finished. And with that done, we managed to get to the Pokemon League. And with that done, we're able to go get into the Pokemon League. So for our first battle of the Elite Four, we're against Lorelei. We go for a Zippy Zap and one shot with Dugong. And then after this, another Zippy Zap here will be enough to one shot with Jinx. Straight afterwards, we got Cloyster. Now, Cloyster will survive a Zippy Zap, but it won't survive a Thunderbolt, so we take that down. And then next up, we've also got her Lapras, which will be a two shot to Zippy Zap. And then after this, we're also against her last Pokemon, her Slowbro. And this is also one shot to Thunderbolt, so we take that down, and that's Lorelei defeated. With Lorelei defeated, we go ahead into the second room against Bruno. So Bruno here sets up a Stealth Rock with his Onyx, and we go take this down with a Surf. Next Pokemon now coming in for Bruno is Hit. On Chan hits us with a Thunder Punch, but it doesn't do way too much. We can go for a Psychic here and also take this down with a one shot. And now, next, we're up against Machamp. Machamp hits us with an Earthquake again, not way too much damage. We're able to go for a Psychic as well on this, and we put it down into one shot. Now, on the next turn here, I knew I was going to survive another attack, so I go for rest and I put myself back up to full life. From here, I go and make the hard switch over into my Aerodactyl. We dodge the Earthquake, and then we go hit the Machamp with a Fly and take it down. Next Pokemon in is Polyrath, so another Fly here will be enough to one shot this and then after this we've also got hitman lee as well so we're going to go for another fly and we're going to go take this down and with that done that's bruno defeated moving us on into the third room against agatha so for agatha here i'm going to start off with snorlax and like it was doing against koga and a lot of snorlax's battles we're going to try to stall out her pokemon that's not going to be necessary against the arbot though one earthquake will be enough to take down this and then after this now we've also got gengar now gengar does survive this earthquake here because he hits us with a burn otherwise he would have went down to a one shot but that's fine i'm gonna go set up a yawn on it and then i'm also gonna go set up a rest as well to put myself back to full life and what this does is it's gonna get rid of my burn gengar also then falls asleep so now i just gotta wait two and a half turns to wake up and when i do i can go for an earthquake take down the gengar she then sends in a wheezing and this sludge bomb here actually does poison us it's fine though i can hit this with an earthquake and although it's not one shotted 
Woods. I can also now set up my Yawn and then set up a rest on the next turn and get myself healthy again. So that's what we do. I go put myself to sleep, get myself back to full HP, and then I wait to wake up and I go for another Earthquake and take down the Weezing. The next Pokemon come out then is a Gengar, hits us with a Sludge Bomb, doesn't do too much damage. We hit it with an Earthquake and we take it down with a One Shot. And now we're against our last Pokemon, which is a Golbat. So from here, I'm going to start trying to spam Body Slams. And it will be a two shot from there to take down the Golbat. And with that done, that's Agatha defeated. Moving us on into the next room against Lance. So Lance starts off here with a Seedra. I'm going to start Pikachu, Thunderbolt, one shot on the Seedra and take this down. Next up then we've got Aerodactyl who is also one shot to Zippy Zap so we take this down. And after this he sends out Gyarados as well which is also another one shot to Zippy Zap so we take this down. And then Charizard will also take the same fate as well. We're going to hit this with a Zippy Zap which is a one shot. And now we're lastly up against his Dragonite. Now Dragonite is not a one shot. So what I decide here is I'm going to try and go for a floaty fall and pray for a flinch. So we can try and chip down a bit of its life. That doesn't work though and he hits with an Outrage which does massive damage so because of this we're forced to switch and I go make the switch over into my slow bro Slowbro here is going to take the Outrage. And it's still going to do quite a lot of damage as well. So what I have to do now is I have to make another switch over into my Lapras. Just in case he manages to pull off another Outrage. I don't want to lose Slowbro there. But thankfully he hurts himself from Confusion. And I can go for an Ice Beam here on the Dragonite safely. Dragonite hurts himself from Confusion once again as well. And from here Ice Beam will be enough to take down Dragonite and defeat Lance. With that done we're heading to our last fight of the run which is against rival Trace. Trace here starts off with Pidgeot and we're going to start off with Pikachu. Now Zippy Zap is not a one shot anymore. So we're going to go for the Zippy Zap, put it into low life. It's going to mega evolve and hit us with a heat wave. And then from here, Trace is going to heal his Pidgeot back up to full life. So what we're going to do when he heals it back to full life is we're going to go put it down into one shot again. Now what we know here is Trace is going to switch from the Zippy Zap this time. So we're going to go for a splishy splash on his Marowak. And Marowak's going to get put down into half life from this. Now on the next turn we go for another splishy splash and we take down the Marowak. With Marowak down he then sends out his Vile Plume and I'm going to make this switch over to Snorlax. I'm going to try and do what we did in the last fight. I'm going to try to put it to sleep, get a safe switch over into Aerodactyl and hit it with a fly. And the Vile Plume also absorbed light here so it wakes up again during my turn while I'm in the air. And because a Reflect was set up somewhere, Fly doesn't do way too much damage. We also take a Solar Beam and we get put down into very very low life. So my idea here was I was going to go for a rock slide and I was going to try and get a flinch but what do you know I miss as I always do so with that done we take a sludge bomb and Aerodactyl goes down this lets us actually get a guaranteed safe switch over into Pikachu though so I could go for a floaty fall take down the vile plume and we move on to his next Pokemon which is a Rapidash so for Rapidash here I'm going to go make the hard switch from Pikachu over into Slowbro take a flare blitz I'm also then going to take another flare blitz on the next turn and I'm going to go take down the Rapidash with Sun with this now he sends out Jolteon so we've got to go make a switch here over into Snorlax and thankfully it's actually missing a lot of thunders and when we do wake up we can hit it with an earthquake and this will take down the Jolteon with a one shot from here now he uses another full restore on his Pidgeot and we're just going to spam body slams we put it into low life he heals it for a third time of this fight as well so we got to do that all again but after a bunch of spams from body slam we do take down the Pidgeot now we got to make a hard switch again it's a slow bro and I go send in my Lapras here really what this here is it's just a bit of a stall I was trying to confuse it and I was also trying to freeze it with a bit of an ice beam as well but that just wasn't working it snaps out of confusion I think that's the second time it happened in this fight as well so Lapras with low life I wanted to switch it out once again and I go and make this switch over into Tauros. Tauros here is hit with a Psychic. It's going to put us down into Half-Life. I'm going to go for a Fresh, take a bit more damage off a Slowbro and I'm going to sack off Tauros so I can get another safe switch over into Pikachu. With this safe switch over into Pikachu we can go for a Thunderbolt. We can defeat this Pokemon and that will be Trace defeated. Which means we've beaten the challenge and we've beaten the run. Also, Trace says something here which is very obvious. I'm the strongest trainer in the world. Of course I am. But yeah, no, serious though. That's going to be it for the end of the video. I really hope you've all enjoyed another Hardcore Nuzlocke on Let's Go Pikachu where I'm not allowed to evolve any of my Pokemon. If you have, 
make sure you like and comment on the video also again if you're new and you found out you've enjoyed the video make sure you do smash that big red button because i love it for you to stick around i've got way more future content coming out just like this and yeah with that all said it's been ant and i will see you all in another video very soon peace out guys